Once again, you're doing too much. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, wait, just. It's fine. I haven't filmed with her in like seven years. This is crazy. Has it been seven years? No, it really hasn't been seven years. I'm just being like dramatic. Two. It's been like two. Guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this channel, guys. Thank you for clicking on this video. You know what right, I mean? Right, because that's just what it is. Today's just gonna be a little bit different today. We're just gonna talk. We're gonna talk about what went wrong, what the hell happened, the positives. This is a positive video, by the way. This mm -hmm. is not beef, drama, nothing. I just wanted to really just come on the channel and just share experiences. And I'm just tired of ignoring all the questions. I think that's how I dealt with it too. I just never yeah, answered I just, anything. But I guess when you have somebody in your life, like you invite somebody on your platform or mm -hmm. vice versa, people want, always wanna know mm -hmm. like what's going on. People are just always subjected to think that they need to know what's going on. So when we leave them blank, it's like, there's not really an answer. So they're kind of like left confused yeah. kind of thing. Back in 2018, wow. It's really, he knows the date. I do, year. I know, okay. 2018, I know. That was the last time I spoke to you, 2018. Okay. And then now we're in 2020, it's almost Okay, so Jalen, don't look at my foot throughout this whole entire video. <laughs> I just, like I noticed it and I don't care because you're, you're mandem, but yeah. Like, don't look at my Yeah, head. get them done. Shut up. As soon as COVID is done. Because we're quarantined. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the only thing I remember, okay, back in 2018, things got rocky, and I know I went to Dominican Republic, and it was just right before Dominican Republic. I just, all I remember is I was trying to reach out to you, message you, and you were just not responding. Yeah, this what happened. <laughs> I was trying to reach out to her, and I just was not getting a response. I was like, what the hell's going on? Why is she not responding to me? What did I do? And she just kind of left me high and dry. Sometimes I was friends, like, I may have been doing something wrong, but like, I actually just had no idea what was going on. So I was just getting no response, yeah. nothing. And then I think I just got a text message. I forgot what the text message said exactly. I think I said one or two things. You said one or two but things, but I kept and that it as, you know what, I'm done. Yeah. That was it. That was literally how it ended, and we didn't speak after that. For what I can recall at the time, I remember it was around the time that I needed your help doing something and I just felt like I was constantly getting the run around, right? Mm -hmm. And then I felt like you didn't know how to tell me you didn't want to do it. Got it. Now it's coming back to me. Now it's coming, yeah. Now it's coming back to me. Okay. So at one point, I just was like, okay, he doesn't want to do it. I don't think he knows how to like tell it to me or whatever. And right. me just being quiet, like he's not dumb. He's going to be like, Okay, what's up? Which eventually he did do. He ended up seating me up and was like, yo, what's wrong with you? Like, is everything okay? Mm -hmm. And then I think I just said, yo, to be honest, it is what it is. I'm good on this. I think that's what I said. I'm mm -hmm. like, you know what? To be honest, we don't need to talk about it. Because I remember feeling like that. I'm like, talking about it is not going to make... Okay, I, I, I struggle mm -hmm. with myself when it comes to whether I should say something, whether I shouldn't say anything. Because mm -hmm. I definitely believe that none of this shit matters at the end of the day. Right. None of it fucking matters. Like, right. What you feel, none of it matters. Okay, I don't kid to yourself. It, in the real speck of things right. it really doesn't matter it holds minuscule value and i feel like at that time i was really learning that and growing up and feeling like you know what if you you know what i mean i know this generation really pushes for if you have something on your mind speak it right. i feel like that with that being said there needs to be a balance just like everything in life right mm -hmm. and i was at that phase where i was feeling like you know what sure i have something in mind sure i should speak it but does it really even matter? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because this person is entitled to feel how he wants to feel. This person is entitled to not want to go forward to doing what I asked him to do. Right. Granted, I didn't really understand why it happened like that. But I guess looking back at it, kind of, like I could see from your perspective, sometimes it's not easy to say, hey, look, I can't help you with something. Right. Or I don't want to do this. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I was too small-minded at the time. I wasn't as mature as I am right now. So I took it very, very personally. I didn't want to be confrontational about it, but I did act like a child. And I was just like, you know what? This, amongst a bunch of other stuff that I felt like I've been carrying in my mind, mm -hmm subconsciously right mm -hmm. um all of it was piling up so i was like okay you know what i'm just done we're not even gonna talk about it. it's not that big of a deal let's just go our separate ways and mm -hmm. i think that was where i was coming from yeah which is why even now being in the space with you i'm able to just be like whatever because it doesn't even really doesn't matter at the end of the day like if you read yeah. really the whole entire situation it doesn't yeah. really matter mm -hmm. but now that it's coming back to me i think that's somewhere along the lines it was something like that because i know i asked you to do something and i just felt like yeah, you were not trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted me to do it at a certain time, and then mm -hmm. the time that you wanted it done by, I just couldn't do three at that time. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think it was I didn't want to do it. I think it was more so... 
I, I can't do it for you right now. Like, I think you wanted it in this instance and I just couldn't do it. And then it just led to just us not speaking until now. But I think that's just pretty much how it went down. I was just kind of in Dominican, like, just confused. Like, I had a great time, but I was kind of confused because I was like, yo, this is actually, like, one of my sisters. Like, you know, like, we've been close for a very, very, very long time. Like, from, listen, this is not YouTube shit. Just letting you guys know. This is... Keek shit. This is Keek, like, movies. Like, when I used to work at the movies years ago, like, that's how I met Delilah. So, it was a little bit different for me. It was I took it very, very personal because, you know, I did consider her as one of my close friends. And then I just didn't know how to approach the situation. But me being petty, like, as I was in 2018, I just blocked it on everything because I was just mad. Like, I didn't have to do that. I could have, like, waited and kind of, like, you know, reached out. But I just blocked on everything for no reason. So I'm yeah. thinking that I got blocked after Adam and Latoya's party. Because that was the first day that me and you seen each other in person. Oh, yeah. I, yes. That was, okay, guys. Was that was really awkward because Latoya and Adam had a party. And I think it was a going away party. Yeah, they were moving and, to Atlanta. Yeah, they are moving to Atlanta. And I walk in and I just see Delilah. And, like, my heart kind of dropped just a little bit because in that situation, like, what do you do? Like, what do you say? I think I tried to smile at him or something, and like, I, I know he didn't catch it, mm -hmm. right? And I didn't want to be so forward about it, so I'm like, yeah, right. it is so, what it is. So I'm just like, better. so I was just like, okay, whatever. So the entire party, she's over here, and so it was really bad to the point where like, there was drinks in our area, and like, I would be like, yeah, it was, it was, it was like really awkward. It was really awkward for me. That was really, really awkward for me, but, um, I guess you just learn from it like I just moved on from the situation and I said eventually like things will get better or like eventually I will see it down the line but then I remember at one point I just like unblocked you of everything just to kind of check up on you to see how you were doing because mm -hmm. I knew like the situations that you were going through back then and I just wanted to make sure you were okay mm -hmm. you know I just wanted to make sure you were good you were also not active on YouTube as well so I didn't I just didn't see you anywhere yeah so I was like okay like I just want to know I just want to make sure she's all right Jalen tried to reach out to me he was like hey I'd be like Hi, hello. <laughs> I'm like, it, it was guys, it was bad. Like, and I hate being ignored. So I was like, hey, what's up? No response. Hey, you're good? Nothing. I was just getting nothing. If you guys see my text messages, it was all me. It was like, no, it was like, no, it was so it was really bad. I was just hurt by the situation. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then fast forward to two years, I see you on my timeline. I'm like, yo, let me just reach out. But then I didn't know how you were feeling at the time. So I went to someone else and I was like, oh, should I reach out to her? Because, you know, like, I just want to check on her, see how she's doing. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, bro, like, you guys have been pretty much friends for so long. Like, you know, like, why end it for good? You know what I mean? And there's yeah. a difference because there's some people who, like, you just know, like, okay, like, you don't need to be in my life anymore. Like, yeah. it's not that serious. But, you know, there's actually some friendships where you like, it's okay. It's okay to rekindle. Like, it's okay to, like, you know? Especially if it's over like dumb shit or like petty foolishness. It's not like snaking mm -hmm. or like things that like, you know, you can fix. Like it's things that you could fix. It's, it's dumb foolishness. You know what I mean? I think um, sometimes too, like it's, people just need their space apart and they need right. to just be able to like, as, like he said, as long as there wasn't anything that happened. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like something that is detrimental, something that can't be um, forgiven, which I personally believe there's anything in this world that cannot be forgiven. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, but if something along those lines that I understand why it is you may not want to ever we can know what you and that person had going on, but it was nothing like that in our case. Absolutely right. nothing like that. Whatever you carry in your heart and whatever you carry in your mind, if you're the only person that feels that it's only toxic to you or it's beneficial to you as a person. Right. And um, so it was one of those ones where it's like, to me, whether he reached out to me, whether he didn't, like him just reaching out to me alone, I would never ever ignore that type of, especially if it's like, hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. I don't know what space you're in. I just want to check up to see if you're good. Mm -hmm. There's no reason for me not to reply. It was completely, the context of that message was completely different from the remaining of the other messages that in the past I ignored, which for what it's worth, I'm sorry about. I, like, even me looking back at it, I realized that I could have handled the situation a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Would I have changed the way I dealt with it? I'll be honest and say no. <laughs> Only because I still tend to deal with things like that. I'm really yeah. a firm believer of, sure, we mm -hmm. can talk it out. Of course. Do we have to? No. No. Because I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I you know what it. I mean? It's just one of those ones. If it's one of those ones where he's just reaching out to me, like, there's no way in this life that I would ever ignore you. And for the times that I did ignore you, I'm actually sorry about that. At the time, I did not really know how to um, deal with things. I didn't really want to, like, you know, hear people out because I felt like there's no need to hear you out. I'm not even mad. I'm just want to be on my own. I mm. really get like that. Where it's like, mm. I'm not mad. I just want to be on my own right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Makes sense. So... But I'm learning to deal with that. I'm learning that, you know what, in life, if you want relationships, regardless of however you are as a person, to some extent, you do need to be mindful of other people. You do need to treat them in a way that makes, that could potentially make you come out of your comfort zone. You know right. what I mean? And which, 
I think you're responsible for that essentially because you know these are people who play a significant role in your life so why not um why not cater to them the way you would want to be catered to or even if it's slightly different why not cater to them because th they see value in being treated like this anyways you know what I mean right I will actually take accountability as well because I feel like a lot of the times people you better I was waiting no I will you have to I I'm next so obviously scared. I'm next <laughs> okay like I'm getting personal right now so put down the call <laughs> I'm gonna take full accountability as well because I feel like a lot of the times people never really check themselves when going through situations so back then I used to be a person that like I'm, I've changed now but I used to be a person that like if I didn't want to do something I just didn't really say something or I would brush it off or I would just ignore the person or just I would just ignore the person flat out that was me and it did cause a lot of like you know awkward tension between uh, like me and some people because again I just wouldn't say anything I would just kind of brush it off but it wasn't on purpose I just didn't know how to mm -hmm. didn't know how to express myself and it's like I can be blunt but it's like in certain cases I just can't and I don't know why so I guess when you were asking me to do what you were doing I know it was something personal like because we always it do things for each other yeah it was, but it was always something very yeah. you know we always help each other point mm -hmm. blank like if if I said yo Delilah like my car's broken down on highway 4 da 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 Delilah's coming Point blank and vice versa. That's just what it was. So in that instance, when you did need my help in a situation like that, that was personal, which I knew I could have helped you and I didn't react right away. I apologize for that because I knew if it was me, on the other hand, you would have been there times fold. Point blank. Like you would have been there 100%. And I think that's where my frustration came from. I'm like, right. if, and that's where like at this time you guys need to like, I never really shared this that much, but I did mm -hmm. touch a little bit um, on it in my last video. Mm -hmm. That was one of the, the things that I struggled with as a person and even within my friendships where it's like, I didn't really know who was for me and who wasn't because I felt like oftentimes mm -hmm. Delilah will do and can do this mm -hmm. for X, Y, and Z, but mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z will never do this for me. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So right. at the time when anybody did anything that I felt was like not reciprocal or not a very good demonstration of right. what, how I would have like, you know what I mean? Done mm -hmm. things. You're dead. Get out. No. Like, you know, no facts. That's, I get it. and I it's get not it. a very healthy way to think like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I had to like go through all of this because it really did shape life. Now, I'm all, I, I see things completely different. I now right. realize that sometimes people's behavior aren't even a reflection of you. Like, you know what I mean? Regardless mm -hmm. if it's because you play a part in a specific situation, it may not be a reflection of you. At the time, like, it had nothing to do with me. You just didn't even know how to tell me, hey, look, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this or mm -hmm. I don't have the time to do it right now or I can't get it done by this time. Like, you know what right. I mean? Right. So, all of this could have been avoided at the end of the day, but I feel like this was the situation that we both needed to endure and go through so mm -hmm. that situations like this can just be bypassed in the future. And they just, don't become a thing. No, you know facts. What I mean? So even in the midst of like that, like I know people say things like, oh, well, when it comes to people who are being reciprocal or whatnot, like you can't really expect that from people who do the same for you. But in a sense, it's like if somebody really goes above and beyond for you, like you would only expect the same thing in return. So you only mm -hmm. think like in your mind, like it's right to do the same thing back. You know what I mean? Because like I said, like Delilah is a, situ a person that like if again if i was on a highway if i was really in trouble like she's there so in that situation when i wasn't there i would take accountability for that because if, if it was me on the other hand she would have been there point blank so like now it's actually starting to bring back to me what like what exactly what happened, happened? Yeah. what happened it's now totally it's starting to come up it's starting but to it come out matter. but it doesn't matter at the end of the day but um so yeah i'll definitely apologize for that because again like it, and it could have been avoided you know i could have just said that but even in the midst of that i should have just been there because i probably wasn't doing anything at the time so i should have just been oh there. i know <laughs> No offense, Jalen. No, I get it. No, I know. Trust I me. was just like, okay, I'm not even big on looking at the past or the future. To be very honest, right, the right, present right. is what really matters. And as right. long as right now is something that you know what I mean, is we can both indulge in it and feel okay and feel completely mm -hmm. fine. Feel like you know it's not a mistake, then that's all that really matters at the end of the day. But yeah. please, excuse me. I have something to touch base on because that is something that I do hear oftentimes. If you're not supposed to have expectations from people or whatever, right, right. Or, you know, keep your expectations very low. Yes, but with everything in mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. there is one word I need you guys for what it's worth. Let Delilah drop a gem. <laughs> but what it's worth for everything in life, whatever it is you're throwing, there needs to be balance. Facts. I absolutely do agree that in every situation, you know what I mean? You're not supposed to do things and have some type of expectation or feel like you, you need to have something in return or whatever. You should just do things freely and I stand on that. Mm -hmm. But there is nothing wrong with having expectations. There is no, nothing... Facts. You're right. Wrong with feeling like, yo, if I would do this for this person or, or whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Something is reciprocated in that manner Just or something. differently. You know right. what I mean? Right. But I feel like 
in life you are supposed to expect a little bit maybe not expect too much but you are supposed but just to have something just have a balance just have something where it's like bro like you did xyz at least like i could i would at least expect something mm -hmm. in return just a little small general return mm -hmm. so i can see where your point was where you were coming from because at the end of the day like even my problem back then too was i never seen where other people came from it was just all about me it was like okay well she just ignored me but i never actually took the time to actually digest and be like okay like Maybe this is the why she ignored me, or maybe this is mm -hmm. exactly what happened, or maybe this is the, you have to start dig digesting things, and that's the problem with people in this generation. It's just all about me, me, me. Start digesting yourself and see how you are a problem to the beef that went down or whatever altercations that went down. So in that case, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I'm sorry for letting you down because I felt like as a friend, I let you down in a situation that was very serious. And if it was again the other way around, I would have, you would have done the same thing. So um, yeah, so I have to say about that. Anyways. It's all good at the end of the day. Yeah. 2020 is fresh. I reached out. I'm a big believer of reaching out. I just like to reach out because that's just me. I'm a big believer. I'm a firm believer in reaching out. Um, and it really depends on who it is because some people might like, K-Mail. But... <laughs> No, some people are like, I'm not. We'll just wait for God. Uh, yeah, like, I'll wait for God. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, no, facts. And then we can have a conversation. But I'm, I'm not reaching out to you. But um, in certain situations like this, I, I realized it was it was really, um, like, it was real. It was, a, it was a real friendship. It was very, like straightforward and I just felt like in that sense I felt like it was me I had to reach out and it's crazy because at the time like I said feeling like it wasn't a real friendship like I all these questions that are going through my head mm -hmm. at one point mm -hmm. and I'm like okay you have all the I remember literally I remember one day I was in my car mm -hmm. had all these bunch of different questions right because mm -hmm. that kind of situation like you just feel like you start feeling like oh everybody's like this why does this always happen to me you know what i mean like right. why do people like it starts like becoming one of those ones and i felt like I, at the moment i, I looked into it and I'm, i lost what i was gonna say fuck it <laughs> you always <laughs> do this I, 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 I <laughs> at one point i felt like i thought it wasn't a real friendship because of all the different things that were happening and right. I, I felt like i was interpreting that interpreting it that way mm -hmm. um but it really was just because i was going through things in my personal life that I didn't know how to deal with and mm -hmm. then some other thing outside of like it's still personal you know what I mean but outside of like immediate family outside of like me myself like you know I just felt like I just took that the wrong way right you know what I mean and I just ran with it and I was like okay hey, I'm good like I'm good on you I'm good on you I was fighting everybody at the time like, no for real I'm like you guys want to be dumb you guys want to play these little games with me you guys don't want to be straight up like I'm just bad it was literally Delilah against the world yeah I trust my judgment when it comes to good people like right. I know how to pick good people if there's somebody that I say yo this is my friend regardless of how we fall out when we fall out or why we fall out I will always stand by they are good genuine people like you know what right. I mean mm -hmm. um and I feel like I'm very very good at that so it's like it's one of those situations where even when you reached out to me I was look I read the message and I was like why not like you know like mm -hmm. this is somebody that you can actually say like you know was a good person maybe you have things that you don't like but he definitely has things about you that he doesn't like you know what i mean and if they're bold enough to kind of wear their heart on their sleeves and reach out to you and say hey look this is something that i feel like holds value and is worth me rekindling right. who am i to decline like you know what i mean right oh wait have you ever met anybody that reminded you of me one of our friends did you meet anybody that did you meet anybody that reminded you of me yeah, when we weren't speaking. No. No? I don't think so, no. Mm -mm. There's not another Delilah. I'm sorry. No, there's not. You can't. I think we're all unique in our own. Yeah, there's not, no. Know. Some advice I would give to you guys? Um, Brad, check yourself. Number one, let's start there. Check yourself, okay? Check yourself when it comes to the friendships that you know you no longer speak to because you may think, hey, it was them, but it could have been you. And you could, it could have been fixable. Also, like, you know, we kindle things that matter. If you know that there was a friendship that, you know, you've had for years and it was something very stupid, like, why throw that all away? You know what I mean? Especially, especially from something extremely dumb, like, something really dumb. Um, and that's pretty much it I would say about that. And just, it's okay to say sorry also. It's okay to apologize. It's okay to acknowledge when you're wrong. Mm -hmm. It's okay to acknowledge that because when you acknowledge that, you're really growing and sometimes sorry isn't just it just it just doesn't mean that you're acknowledging that you're wrong sometimes it just means that you're acknowledging that what you did affected mm -hmm. somebody negatively right. right like you know what i mean mm -hmm. that, and as far as that's that as far as if that was not your intention there mm -hmm. should be no issue with you issuing an apology if that right. makes sense you know yeah so is there anything that you would do differently oh is there anything i do differently in this mm -hmm. situation i think um 
I don't think there's any I don't think there's much that I would do differently um, other than you know maybe communicate a little bit better um, and maybe I would have reached out to you sooner mm -hmm. like yeah. I remember um, the day that I seen you at Latoya's um, Latoya and Adam's going away party like it, it wasn't awkward for me there at all right but after like when I was going home, I remember I was talking to patients about it because she's who I went to the thing. I was just like, yo, that's like, that wasn't awkward, but that's just really weird how one moment you and somebody are like Bati and Bench and then the next moment, like, you know, something happens. And, and I was, and I remember even talking, I was like, she's like, what happened between you? I was like, I don't remember. And I'm like, that in itself is dumb. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I feel like I want to, as a person, I feel like I need to get better at reaching out to people when I feel like, you know, the time is right. I need to follow my instincts. Like, if I love somebody, show them that, hey, look, I love you, I value, I care about you, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I need to get better at wearing my heart on my sleeves, mm -hmm. you know, because I felt like growing up, the heart was always on the sleeves. I got burned so many times that as an adult, I started wearing it, like, I don't, I don't even know if I started wearing it. I, I don't even know if I was wearing it. You know what I mean? No, that's, and that's not good. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? That's something that I feel like as a child, you're supposed to transition into your adulthood knowing how to kind of manage it. Not that you completely get rid of it. You right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's something that as a person, I need to learn to get a little bit. So I would, I would just do that a little bit better. Yeah. Maybe reach out to you a little bit sooner. Ask if you were doing okay. Like, you know what I mean? Because it wasn't just me going through something at the mm -hmm. time. It wasn't just me that was, you know, upset or felt like, you know what I mean? I never really thought about, oh, damn, how's Jalen going to feel reading this message? Like, you know? Right. So it's like, yeah, I would try a little bit better just to, to look at things from your perspective as well. Yeah. That's pretty much it. How are we now? Great. We are like, we never left. That's... No, that's, and that's really actually scary because we actually are here. Like, we never left. Like, it's just right back to the regular routine, literally. Was the difference? We've just grown and we're just growing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. This girl, this girl's thinking. I'm done. Did you? <gasps> Alright. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. You just took off her wig, girl. Bye. <laughs> Can you do that for me? Like the rhythm on the beat go slow. Can you do that for me? Let the rhythm of the beat go slow. Can you do that for me? Let the rhythm of the beat go slow. Can you do that for me? Let the rhythm of the beat go slow.